So I have used Jet GPT extensively in the last couple of days and also have observed numerous moves from so-called consulting coaches. And here is how Jet GPT will likely impact the job interview preparation market um, for strategy consulting interviews in the upcoming years and what this means for your application and uh, your success. So to start with, um, I was actually pretty surprised what Jet GPT is actually already capable of. Um, I was not so surprised by its limitations, but we'll come back to that um, point in a bit. So what to state one thing at the beginning, crystal clear. Jet GPT is reinforcing and leveraging expert knowledge. It's not replacing it. It's not replacing it. And what that means for you, it will be even more important in the future to do the research who is giving you advice, right? What is the track record? Why is this person actually in the position to give you an advice? And um, why can you be sure that it is not just like some jet GPT generated bullshit that was not calibrated by someone who actually knows what he or she is talking about, okay? Because what the, the consequence is, and we already see this, um, the market will get swamped by jet GPT generated material. And we already see it in Facebook posts, in YouTube videos, in um, essentially blog entries, right? So we have, we have already uh, seen a couple of uh, clearly jet GPT generated uh, content um, because if you're using it by yourself and you should do, right? Um, you get a feeling from what has been uh, very nuanced and written for a specific target group with a specific goal in mind and what has been just like a prompted um, uh, yeah, an overarching uh, question into JetGPT and copy pasted the answer and then pushed it into the content channels that are available. Um, so that's one thing that you will need to look out for. And the, the other thing is where JetGPT might be useful and where JetGPT might not be useful at this, not at this point in time. So where it might be useful already is in the more standardized parts of the evaluation process. So what does it mean? JetGPT can already help you um, to get to a better CV and also to a better cover letter in less time. But what is important here also is that you start to take over the responsibility for the end product. Because if you don't know how a great end product looks like, JetGPT will enable you to get one end product faster, but that does not necessarily mean it's already like an outstanding one, right? Usually, if you've never heard about a thing and asked JetGPT to help you with that, right? So if you have no idea about how your CV would look like and how your cover letter would look like, you will get a decent version back from JetGPT. But this is usually not living up to the nuances and to the specific requirements that might be necessary, especially in a highly selective market like um, in strategy consulting interviews, right? So that's the one thing. Where ChatGPT, and I do believe there will be a lot of tools and applications uh, using this technology in the next um, one to three years, where it actually is really helpful and will be really helpful is to help you prepare for standardized tests especially for these tests where there is um, a mechanism already publicly available according to which you will be evaluated, right? So if it's proprietary, it might um, be not as helpful, but if it's already known, then you will benefit a lot from this and also from the advice and feedback that is generated automatically. So for the, the tests, automatic tests, especially if they are then evaluated by a machine and not by a human, um, I do see a lot of potential in that technology. And I do also believe there will be a lot of tools available in the next couple of years to prepare yourself for standardized cases. And this might very well also apply for the cases, for the pretests, sorry, for the pretests you're getting in consulting interviews, right? In order to get an invite to the actual interview days. But for the case interviews itself, it's not gonna do the trick for you. You will be evaluated by a human being, right? And they will want to see, are you ready 
to be a consultant um, in, in a prestigious organization? Do you bring what are the characteristics that a consultant should bring? And it might not be the best idea to get feedback on this by a machine. And it also is not a good idea to get feedback by this from junior interviewers that partially never have worked at MBB and, and never did um, the application process successfully by themselves. And even if they haven't received official interviewer training and, and are not able to calibrate the performance if they have not seen numerous people um, they did the same case with in an MBB context, right? So if they are calibrating uh, the results of JetGPT, there is not a good result in the end, I can tell you that. So again, to sum it all up, um, the content creation process is extremely uh, simplified now. So that will lead to a situation where there will be a lot, a lot, a lot of content created. We already have the first indications. We see it in Facebook groups. We see it in blog entries. We see it in YouTube videos um, that the advices, they are unspecific. They are not of high quality. They are um, confusing, um, partially even going into different directions. Mm, then the, the resources available, they will explode, right? So it will be even harder for you to... Um, segment and differentiate helpful advice from harmful advice. So that's number one, what's going to happen and how you will need to react to this. Make sure you, you always do your own research. Um, what is the background of the expert? And why would you believe this expert? And also, um, what is the track record, right? Is there any proof that um, the results and the advices have helped in the situation that you are looking advice for? Okay, so Use this new technology wisely. Do it by yourself. Go through through um, the, the JetGPT interface. Uh, type a couple of questions because only if you know how an, a JetGPT answer looks like, um, you also will spot it, right? So, hope that was helpful. Um, speak soon.